Listen, all my undateables, yeah? But you lot messaging me saying Specs was not was last week or the week before, whatever. You already knew that Tigo was on his honeymoon. That's I not why. That's, I, a, I wasn't on a honeymoon. And B, it's because it was Easter Friday. That's always been a day that we don't upload. Why? Because people, Lent. people don't, yeah, Lent, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Remember that? What does that mean? What does that mean, Lent? Because you have to give money in school, innit? No, it means God wants you to borrow things. <laughs> Is it? And not pay it back. <laughs> so Miles and Poet are good <laughs> at Lent. <laughs> They just tapped the card <laughs> and it's not working. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to talk about Poet today, man. Poet called me yesterday. It was a bad phone call, man. Yo, GG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my GG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, what did he say? What did he say to you? He, he got the leaf. Uh, so, here. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> he got the leaf over the phone. Oh, I can cool. hear the leaf. This the plant. The okay. plant. Is it, is it plant leaf, whatever it is? Yeah, yeah. yeah the fake daffodils. He said, my GG, I'm ready to start business. I said, oh, what business is this? We're gonna be painting and decorating. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Oh, wait, love it, man. You just wanna get any any excuse to get into someone's house. Probably <laughs> gonna be a burglar in two years. <laughs> That's why he's been going gym. So he gets strong enough to pick stuff him up. And ch- him and Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> him and Chucky. Poor <laughs> and ch- Chucky and Jim. Chucky said the body's arriving this summer. He said this summer. He's gonna be six foot one. Yeah, right. Um, I, I start, I'm going to start going gym again as well now that the season's nearly over. He starts gym every few months. Yeah, and I yeah. do. It. But I've been reading a new book now. I've been reading a new book, Atomic Habits. So I feel like that's going to help me do gym. Build some it. Atomic Habits now. It's good, man. It's a proper good book. It's not one of them gassing books like, oh, yeah, you need to do this bo- to become a millionaire. It's actually like, it's a cold book. So. You know, I'm fascinated with that, that the fact that you read books. Because I thought you had ADHD 19 like me. No, but even though you got ADHD nineteen, you can still read. No, you can't. You just got you just can't read. No, you just yeah. got dyslexia. <laughs> nah, I can That's read. different. Yeah. You read like this. <laughs> all right, all right. And then you skip right. the line as well. He skips three lines and he goes, "Oh no!" Then he does this. He he, he puts his finger like this and okay. he goes all the way around like this. And then back. Okay. And then she said. And then he said, oh, no, wait. And then she said, how are you doing today, mister? And then he said... Oh, I'll show you. <laughs> you know, man, there was one year he would bring his finger, instead of going straight up, he used to bring it all the way down like this and all the way around. That's right. You uh, can't read. You know, you're in class and that kid's reading. Don't worry, I'm and it's like, oh, now PK, you read that. But it's that like one kid. It's like, and uh, if... When and he was yeah. like, I don't, I can't understand what this story is about anymore. Nah, it's too, it's just too. <laughs> That's right, watch this, watch this. I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna test you now. You ready? Short Shakespeare tell the Tempest. Ready? I'm gonna read it now. Let me see. Let me turn it off the camera. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna read it. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go around. We're gonna go we're around. Gonna go yeah. around. We're, gonna we're gonna go around. We're gonna go around. You ready? <laughs> the story begins. The huge ship is destroyed in a violent storm. The people on the ship become separated at sea and end up on a magical island. The master of the island, Prospero, Burris' a magic staff and back. Lot of delays, lot of delays. Yeah, wait, delays. no, no, no. Explain what you explain what you just read. <laughs> Cause you didn't read it if you don't know what it said. I'm not I'm reading it. I'm not into store it. Of course you are. Otherwise you're not reading it. That's you're too, just translating. I can't it. read and store. That's too much info info. That's, 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 that's what oh, that's what I'm on. saying. That's dyslexia. Go on, you read it, go on. Go, but you can't read what I read. Go to the second paragraph. Back in the present, the people on the ship managed to come on shore. And it... You see? Yeah, because... You see how the wires... And you know what he does? (laughs) He cut off off the page, yeah? So I'm not able to read it. That's what a man's doing. That's nasty, that is. That is nasty. Double. Once, many years ago... Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that's what you read, didn't it? Yeah, the story begins as a huge I ship. I read that one. You see this guy? He's okay. He, yeah, he <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, you know. You know I used to read in church? Me too. I used to, like, when I used to read the Bible, let's say, like, something will happen. You used to, like, in our church, they used to basically do, like, they used to have an assessment base. It was basically like an assessment. So when you used to do your reading in church, like basically they will like mark you for like hand gestures or like using the punctuation properly. Wow. So like I used to speak, read them like, Jesus came around <laughs> to the corner <laughs> and then he came. And I used to put like the proper hand gestures. Oh no. They used to mark you in church. They used to mark you. But Jesus said, oh no, it's all. Jesus said, oh no, one time. 
<laughs> just once when he was like this <laughs> I don't think he was ever like that <laughs> he said shit man they, they come this one touch Jesus one touch yeah Jesus was in the X <laughs> Jesus went Project X did you say man said oh no <laughs> now reading reading in front of people is, is, is hard you know you know when we do recordings or whatever and there's a bit of script yeah and we get specs to do a bit of the script. Yeah. Today, I'm Spex Gonzalez, and I'm gonna be recording with, <laughs> what's your name? Ah. <laughs> today, my name no is, way. what's my name? What's no my name? way. Today, see, my name is Spex Gonzalez. You struggle. You know, I swear that, you see what he's saying? Steve-o. I'm not undateable. They could never, they could never cast me for that show. Never. What do you mean? Impossible. Naked attraction, that's what they're gonna get me for. They said they want lorries. <laughs> They said they were lorries, 18 wheelers. Do you know what a taco card is? Do you know what a taco card? No. That's what um, lorry drivers have to use. So basically it's a card, yeah? Petrol. No, it's not petrol, it's a taco card. So it basically tells them how many how many hours they've been driving and legally you're not allowed to drive a yeah, certain amount, innit? Yeah, because crash and yeah. So you put the taco how card. How do you know in. this? You see me, I know some weird things. Boying 842 is missing right now. No, but how do you know about lorries? No, you... but where's the Boeing 842? Yeah. Missing. Uh, that's uh, If I could find it, bro, I'd be a millionaire, bro. What no the hell is Boeing, it. What's the hell is Boeing 842? It's a train. It's the fastest train in, in Hong Kong. How you know about this as well? Bro, I'm telling you, bro. So this this train in Hong Kong, it's fast. with passengers, it moves? It moves, bro. It's and safe. It goes like 200 miles per hour. Huh? Bro, it's, the far, it's, it's called bullet trains. That's, that's, that should be illegal to be on a train that's going that fast. Well, so no, have you seen the film where they're on the train? Snowpiercer. No, that's a show. That's a yeah, show. Yeah, there was a film of it. It was originally it was a. Is film. it? Yeah? yeah, I've watched Snowpiercer. Cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cold. You show. should watch that. You would like that. Snowpiercer. No, but it's Snowpiercer's political though. It's very, but he, it's very I don't political. think he wouldn't, I, I, get, he wouldn't, the wouldn't get it though. Nah. He wouldn't get the political side. No, but of you know what is? It's the, the title of a film tells you if I should watch it or not. Snowpiercer. You would love it. You're, it's sick still. I can't lie. T. This is like the fifth. Like year in a row where you pulled out films that just he's seen it. Yeah, he knows. Have it. you watched Roots? No, oh, no. what the hell was that? Why have you even watched Roots? Roots? No, I've never seen it. I've never but seen you it. had the canoe shirt, but you've never watched Roots. I've never watched Roots. That's uh, African American history. I should, I should watch uh, you, it. You watch well, it? that show, that that film is twelve hours long, bro. What Roots? Roots is twelve. No, hours I watched Roots in school. It's not bro, long. you watched it for you three weeks. One episode. Wait, Kuta yeah. Kinte. Yeah, yeah, it's three. It's two, three weeks long. They showed us one episode, you know, and I thought it was the whole film. Yeah, no. Nah. Oh, yeah, because what happened to him at the end? I don't even know. <laughs> they, did you see when they tried to remake it with that uh, English guy? Wasn't well, T.I. in the remake? Oh, they God. made it with the English guy from, I think, Adulthood or something. It was, I'm just getting my water bottle. Give me one second. Man. It was Pony. Sorry. Had Forrest Whitaker as well. And Anna, Anna Paquin. And Lawrence Fishburne. Forrest Whitaker with his eyes, is that something he does or is, it, is that built in? Forrest, that's the guy with the brother. When I said that's something built Every in. Every film. He's got a brother, you know. That looks exactly like him. Well, basically, basically got both eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> His lips are funny as well. He's got the Ferdinand lips. Like, oh, my lips? No, um, Whitaker. The old lips. Oh. Yeah. Oh, JR. Is it the JR? The, the, the Jim Ross lips, yeah. They took to the side? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they took to the side. They, they can only talk like this side. <laughs> the Ferdinand. What's what Ferdinand? Real Ferdinand. Oh. He's got the lips. Oh, well. real yeah. Ferdinand talks to the side as well, doesn't he? Yeah. Man, you're not a play. Real, well, you're playing. <laughs> now, what about Andy Cole? Yeah, man. What, what's, he, what's he saying? That's a pengaleng. <laughs> I had to rass it in the top bins. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Andy Cole, man. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Why do you say, why do you say this to his face? Why not? No, I talk about his back. Yeah, about back. Don't don't say it. You should know this about Specs though, the oh, way he talks man. about people's backs. Because that day, yeah. when I'm arguing about Haaland, he's like, ah, oh, Tigo, you got killed, you got killed. And then when they're arguing about uh, Iniesta versus Paul Skulls, maybe you yeah, got to remember. Still. Uh, maybe you got a point still. Yeah, but he's a fam- Andy Cole's a family friend, so I've got to show respect. It's just Trish's cousin. You see Valverde, you see Andy Cole saying, man, I'm wet and that. Valverde waited in the car park. Yeah. That's what it's about, Is man. it? Yeah. No, he, but he waited rather than... Yeah, he still showered, though. He, sho- he showered. He don't cream. The man don't, don't cream. They don't moisturise. The, guy, the guy you were waiting for, you don't think he creams the moisturise? Nah, bro. <laughs> he thinks he's English. Who was Valverde fighting? Um, Paco Rabanne. What's his... I need to buy a perfume. You just remember, I need to buy a perfume, you know, today. You definitely do. He... Oh. 
Buy one for Ju- buy one for Judy as well when you're there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Come on, that's coming paracetamol. <laughs> <laughs> Football players have been fighting, haven't they? Mm. Alex Baina is who he punched, the Villarreal player. And um Mane. Mane and Sane. I think Sky Sports are taking the Why? To show um Sane coming out and saying that he's hiding, hiding his, his lip. lip. Yeah. How can someone punch me? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? But um Manny, I don't believe that story. I don't know. Something's not right to you. Happened in the basketball the other day as well. Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert punched his teammate in, in the middle What's of a game. On, Sometimes you got to punch up your teammates, man. It makes sense. Is it the vaccine? <laughs> <laughs> you know someone who's always going to blame the vaccine for punching man up. <laughs> <laughs> That's crypto, guys. That it's crypto, isn't it? It's crypto. crypto's down, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's crypto straight. Oh, man. So, um, what did I do the other day? I went to go and watch uh, Mario. Have you, have you seen Mario? Mm-mm. You see it too, Will yeah? you watch Mario? Why? I got no business watching that. Oh, come on, don't be, don't be like that. Bro. Why would I watch Mario? Mario growing up Do you up watch like... any like kids or family films? Mm. Mm, Phineas and Ferb. I used great, I, great I watch show. I watch Phineas and Ferb. There's 104 days of summer vacation and school comes along just to end it. And the annual problem of our generation is finding a way just to spend it. it. Like maybe building a rocket or building an Eiffel or climbing up the Eiffel Tower. Tower. <laughs> Discovering something that doesn't exist. And maybe a monkey a shower. Uh. Bringing in dodo brains. Giving monkey a shower. <laughs> what? I'll shower you. <laughs> <laughs> what? But first of all, that was one of the worst songs I've ever heard. Great show. Second, what's the show called? Phineas and Fur. Again, another he's bad got, name. He's got, you see him, he's got, uh, he's got Miles' head. One of them got Miles' head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long. Don't know if it's Phineas or Fur, but I don't know which one. So are you telling me, T, like heart to heart, that this show is better than Super Mario? Luigi, Peach, Donkey Kong, Wario. Have you got Browser. Disney Plus? You haven't, have you? Of course I've got Disney Plus. Phineas and Ferb's on there. Go watch Phineas and Ferb. Go watch the Phineas and Ferb. They got films as well, like long ones. Gee, I'm not watching. They did one of um, Marvel. They did is one it, of yeah? Star Wars. Is it, uh, is it animation or? Anim- cartoon, cartoon. Not 3D animation, cartoon. But it's class. You should is watch it. Is it better than Mario T? Is it better than Super Mario? I really, I really like Super Mario. So is it, is it yeah. better? Yeah. Is it, stop saying, oh, you're comparing oh, stupid tea, things. man. Huh? You, you compare things that don't really make sense. All right, I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm ask you this: Is Super Mario better than Avatar? Yeah. Are you, are, you, are you being serious? Yeah. Even though Super Mario stole the islands that are stuck in the air, <laughs> that was from Avatar. That's been in Mario for a long time, bro. What? You're saying Avatar stole it from Super Mario? I'm. Just, I'm saying uh, you're saying one thing. I'm countering it. I'm not saying anything. I'm gonna do my research, but I'm sure I. I'm, I, I know. There's a bit of conflict going on between the two directors. Do you reckon? I think so. With Ken, Mr. Cameron and whoever directed Mario. I don't know who directed yeah, Mario. I, I, I think don't it was an algorithm or something. Yeah, but um, I saw a lot of Avatar stuff on there. A lot of writers and directors fight. Rodal and um, what's Roald her name? Rodal and That's Shakespeare. Jacqueline Wilson. Jacqueline Wilson. I knew where you were going. Yeah, Jacqueline <laughs> Wilson. They had serious beef. It's always beef, isn't it? BFG against Tracy Beaker. <laughs> BFG, big, big, big friendly goal. Uh, uh, giant. That's a big friendly goal. <laughs> yeah, big, sorry, giant. Yeah, yeah, BFG. Oh my God. Now there's, now there's more beef. There's BBWs. More beef. Rodo BBW. made BBWs. 101 the Dalmatians and Lassie. <laughs> <He's> a, <laughs> that's beef. <laughs> Why is that beef? No. What's beef? <laughs> Someone came with more dogs. <laughs> 101 Dalmatians are beef and aristocrats. Aristocrats, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's aristocrats? Oh, the cats. Yeah. yeah. And then cars is beef in planes. planes. Even though the, the same people made it, yeah. yeah it's still, it's still, they're still, you know. Beef, In-house yeah. beef. In-house, In-house house beef. Yeah, 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 yeah. What else is there? Um, Beverly Hills. AIDS is beach, beef in HIV. It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy world we live in. Uh, you know who's got the biggest beef in the world? It is Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Taste you the same, think, yeah. No, nah, I don't taste the same. They you beef, think? they beef, their, their beef is very serious. There was times where like um, you couldn't wear blue if you worked at Coca Cola. Oh my is god, it? that is coming like crips and bloods. Yeah, you? exactly. Yeah, it was serious. It was serious. You couldn't wear blue if you worked at Coca Cola. Yeah, that's childish, man. Yeah, but that like they're conglomerates now. They own so much stuff. Like Pepsi owns Mountain Dew, Coke owns Fanta, Seven Up. 
I think Seven Up's Pepsi and Sprite is Coca Cola. But what about with them cans that you see? You know where it has Sprite, Fanta, and Coca Cola, all uh, in in them boxes. Yeah, that that well, whoever owns whichever one Coke's on, they they own all of them. That means Seven Up, they own Seven Sprite Up. Sprite and Seven Up are beefing. And Fan and Fanta. I think it's Sprite. I think Sprite, Sprite is the Coca Cola yeah. one. Sprite, Sprite, Sprite and Fanta. Fanta. Yeah, Sprite versus Seven Up. Take my shoes off. One second. Um, Monster versus Red Bull. Monster and Red Bull Pepsi. are not beefing. Well, Red Bull wins over Monster, like easily. These are back, are they? What are they? Can I see? Can I touch? Do you say Monster wins over Red Bull? Yeah. yeah are easily. you crazy? Who, who, more people drink Red Bull than Monster. It's yeah. only it's only them guys like Dylan that want to kill their family <laughs> and that, that drink Monster. Like that's I want to kill my dad. I want to kill my, my mom. mom. Oh, that stuff's disgusting. This is crazy. What material is this? It's um. It's straight from Sudan, man. Don't wait, wait, no, don't make it picky, bro. No wonder it's not like it that. Picky. Don't make it the, picky. It's been in the office for three years. Sudan. Yeah. Mm. It's called Markup. Markup. Yeah. What size is this? There's no such thing as size. <laughs> There's no size. That's why like no one in Sudan got length or girth. <laughs> bro, no. Sudan's whoa, whoa, whoa. Like ten foot tall. Whoa. <laughs> no one in Sudan. No, there's fact. There's, there's, there's actually we 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 bought out some statistics a couple of weeks ago on on pipe size and. Sudan was in the top four Champions League. Yeah, no Con word. Congo was mid table still. No, Congo was fifty one. I've, I've, I've got my own table that tells me Congo is top. I've got a table. <laughs> I, I can don't show want to you. know about your table. I can put it right on the table right Please now. Don't. Yeah, don't Please don't. Please don't touch you. <laughs> yeah, It'll probably push you into the wall. No, it wouldn't. I've seen. I've seen. I've seen what you're working with. Where did you see it? You're Asian. <laughs> I'm Asian. What does that even mean? Elaborate on that it, statement. It, it, there's a lot of Asian countries that were like sixty five. That's you. That's not that's not true. That's not real. You got the smallest dick I know. Nah, impossible. I've took, I've, I've, I've screenshotted it. Bro, uh, Lippy's a friend of Lippy said, told Lippy, yo, that PK yeah, guy, he's you, got a shit. You're gonna believe a friend of Lippy. You're gonna believe a friend of Lippy. It wasn't one of those guys that wear <laughs> this two is trousers. Lippy's someone that had plaques back in the day. It's not the ones that wear that two trousers. Hard, Lippy. Love. <laughs> you listen to, listen to them, man. It's not a guy, bro, it's a girl. You, I was thinking about last week's Filthy, he revealed that he wore glasses in school and that he wears um, contacts now. Could you imagine Lippy with plaits and glasses? Nah. And I'll two tracksuit bottoms. I'll, I'll slap and him brown And brown <laughs> contact lenses. Yeah. <laughs> Dark brown. <laughs> Listen, I told you about contact lenses, man. That's how bright blue. So it's it that's was, had blue, color, yeah, yeah, yeah. grey ones as well. Yeah, and grey. That's that like Lumos, not not yeah, yeah. A, It was you know there, it was one. There was like there was a time where it was fashion. What like, blue blue contact lenses? Yeah, mummies would be like, oh my god, a black man with blue eyes. I've never seen this before. I'm telling you, everyone was doing everything in the eighties. Crack blue, <laughs> bl crack blue, blue, <laughs> blue, blue contact lenses. They were acting up in the eighties, right? <laughs> Only poet could tell me, man. I don't know, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know man. <laughs> Plants and leaves in your house. <laughs> I hate that. Come part. on, Gigi. The next time I go point says I'm gonna kick that plant up, boy. I'm gonna belt that part, man. What did you think of his tweet while I was away? Which one? The Delhi Alley one. Ah, oh, bro. Stunk, man. It's stunk, man. Do you know what it is for me? First of all, like Delhi Alley, like he's not like you know. There's some players like Blomfist. Yeah. And Deli Ali, they should have just pop up. Yeah, they just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. There's some players that shouldn't pop up. Just leave them to be. How does Poet wake up and think about Blumpfist and Deli Ali? What's he watching? I said, yo, Gigi, then you can come to the show. Let's talk about it. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, it was, I don't know, man. I, I, I thought it was bad. You liked it, OT? I, I didn't understand what everyone's problem was. Poet tweets like that. Show man you kick ball dot cold dot. That's how he <laughs> tweets. <laughs> That's literally like the poet experience. Saying, Even the Renault, when you see, what did he say about Ronaldinho's son? Yeah, he said something about Ronaldinho's <laughs> son. On, yeah. What is that? I was like, what? Well, I don't get it. <laughs> I want to get it. I want to get it. I don't, you, know, you can't get everything. So, boys, the other day, um, you know, and sorry to the person who lost their life. But um, the next thing I decided is to jump and land on someone. And it's bothered me for two days. They landed on someone. So the next thing I said, you know what? I'm gone. He jumped. But he didn't look down I before think he jumped. It was a she. Yeah? Okay, she, sorry. She jumped and landed on the pedestrian that was walking. 
and killed her. Or, or and they ki- both of them on the stairs. Whoa. So imagine, imagine you're walking, you're going to go and buy trainers. Oh, V, D. Two, <laughs> two women fighting for their lives at this point. Okay, so they're there. Great. But my thing is this, T. T, you jump on me. What do you tell me on the stairs? Because sorry's not enough. <laughs> sorry's not enough. PK, you're walking, mind your own business. You're going to go and get a, a pack of fags for your dad. My dad don't smoke, he drinks K. Oh, but he just wants it to show <laughs> off. And someone lands on you, you're on the stairs. I said, sorry, I didn't see you walking, but you know you ain't seen your family again. Surely God should send you back down, T. If God, if God, if you're real, send them back down. People, people go upstairs by accident a lot, man. That's not accident, T. There's escalators. There's escalators that go down. Because you can be in a coma and then God puts you on the escalator and says, all right then. Go back down, show me what you got. Show me your best skills. That's what he says, show me your best skills right now. You jump and land on someone. It's not ideal. What do you mean it's not ideal? Where was your mirrors? It's pretty selfish, yeah. We'll just do it somewhere else. Yeah. And the person walking is definitely gonna hit the stairs because who expects something to just land on top of their head? I mean, critical walking now. Whoa! <laughs> Safe yeah, landing. Yeah, it's a safe landing. <laughs> you know, you know the helicopter. <laughs> just put a H. If it was a H. <laughs> critical invite me. Critical invite me to his party. His parties look good, man. Yeah, they do. Yeah, you know why they look good, though. Why? <laughs> he just has area for himself, isn't it? <laughs> if he's by the bar, everyone has to wait outside. <laughs> just, like, make it look good. <laughs> Oh man, yeah man. I, that's um, I'm so, I'm glad they didn't hit the stairs, but man, the person that walk like was walking, I hope they make it, man, because that's not fair. I was in New York the other day. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a serious mental health crisis over there. I think we take for granted how in this country, there's hospitals and NHS and people who have problems that go straight into hospitals. If they if they get to a point where there may be a risk to themselves and the public, they'll put them in like accommodation, they'll have families and units where they can get funding to be looked after. New York is not like that. New York is serious crisis on every corner. And, they, and obviously the, the government don't care. They, it's not it's not set up the way That's that bad, man. European governments are set up. I yeah. think it's because there's too much rats. There's a lot of rats. Did you see rats? A lot of rats. Like proper rats with- Big, like big- dressed up and stuff. Yeah, big, big giant rats. Yeah, you see, that's the only thing that I'm scared about in New York, man. I don't like rats. Rats and foxes are two animals that I don't like. Vermin. Like, I hate dirty. I hate dirty things. I don't like dirt. I'm very OCD. That's how I got a Hoover. <laughs> I got a Hoover. Well, everyone should have a Hoover, I think. No, car Hoover. I got a car Hoover. Most people have got car Hoovers as well. Nah, not most people. I don't know anyone. I'm the only person I, ain't that got I know. I got a car Hoover. I'm the only person I know of a oh, car really? Hoover. I ain't got a car Hoover. What's that about? I mean, just I'll take it to the guys that are washing. They can, they got the Hoover. They're ready. How often do you go to them? <sighs> Boy, it's hard when you got kids. <sighs> once a month, twice he's, a month. He's a he's a frugal man as well, so he's not gonna give his keys over to someone and give them money to the Hoover when no, he can Hoover I d- himself. No, I, I do I I do it, but they don't do it properly. That was my that was my issue. That's what's made me get a Hoover and to maintain cleaner. Sometimes you might have a little spillage or a little drop of just, and you can just quickly. But the only thing is with them guys that actually clean my car, they don't clean it properly. They take their mick. Obviously, I know they're working for thirty pound for the day and that. And I'm I'm about to snitch to the UK immigration. Yeah, so well, so well, brother, man. They if they got the rondos for me, I'm ready to talk. Yeah, but there's some car washes that are like the one in Shoreditch. Yeah, the one knows that one. You go there. That that, that one is that like seven 40, people clean the car. Forty pound for a. Uh, yeah, uh, but you get it done properly. Nah. Yeah, they're smart there because. Parking's so expensive around here. Mm. You can go there and think, oh, if I just put it in for a service, then that's free parking, isn't it? But they yeah, see no. through that. They're ready at hundred pound. What they 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 charge you a hundred pound? If you if you think you're clever and you think you could try and just leave it, oh, can you take it for a few hours, give it a proper clean? Anywhere else in London it'd be like thirty five pound. Yeah. That one in shortage. You go there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they're like, nah. I'll tell you a trick. If your car's dirty and you don't wanna clean it or you don't wanna pay to clean it, just let people in at night time. No one can see the little crumbs of quavers and stuff. Yeah, but like well, <laughs> you can sit on it though. No, T, seriously, I've, my son's seat, you see Wattis 
Man said, what is? It's, what, what's what is? It's, there's four <laughs> watches in the corner of his seats. They've been there for a year. But in the dark, no one can see that watch is there. Because that, that thing changed colour. <laughs> it's a chameleon. Yeah, it changes. It's gone. But daytime now, it's bright now. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm Eliza's friend. <laughs> <laughs> don't let me. Don't let someone let go. That's me. I don't. That, nighttime. I hate driving with my, my parents, though. That's the worst. Whenever I do any manoeuvre, like, they're just bruv, they're banging on my ear, bruv. Or like, if I'm playing music and the music's got swear words in it. Now I'm listening to LBC, Nicky, uh, N- Nigel Farage. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel Farage. That's how I got into LBC. Because I didn't want, I didn't want my mum to uh, listen to my music. You're not, you're, you're a s- decent driver, though. Yeah, I'm, I don't drive reckless. I don't drive, cr- but I do mad maneuvers. You do do maneuvers. So yeah. like my things, like cut through somewhere crazy. Yeah, last minute decision. Yeah, I had an argument with Dazza for the first time the other day because Dazza, his car ain't got no sensors. But my car's got sensors. So when you know when you change cars, you're not expecting a sensor. So when I'm reversing Dazza's car, cars, cars, cars. What's he, he saying, cars? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Dazza, that's you, because you said cars. <laughs> Cause I'm still waiting for the sensor to go. No, that's, that was the sensor. That's has got his built-in that, sensor. That's that the sensor. <laughs> he, went to, he went to the back of the car, come back in, you owe me 350. <laughs> hey, how you gonna do the maths? <laughs> Take out the boxer's money. <laughs> what do you mean? I paid for the boxer, he said to me. <laughs> Take out the boxer's money, bro. <laughs> you wanna tell the crowd what you're doing with Dazza next week? PK, you know Dazza's coming to Jamaica? Yeah. But I'm going for a wedding. I'm going for a family wedding. Yeah. He said he's coming like we're going to a dance. <laughs> I'm saying, bro, you, you're not invited, bro. If, if everyone's got you, on the table, it's going to say specs and family. It's going to say my daughter, son. I, we, we, you know what I mean? Yeah. Dad, I'll come, I'll squeeze in. Your yeah. son can sit on his sit on, on lap. Yeah, but bro, you know what it is? It's walking in. When, you, when, when your bedroom's getting married and he sees you walking with someone you don't know, yeah, like, how is this going to run now? That is crazy. But it does his day. He's in the villa with us and everything. How big is Jamaica? Compared to Barbados. Because Bar- Barbados is tiny. Mm. Yeah, see, okay, Barbados 169.5 square miles. And I thought, that's so small. You could drive around it like in a few hours. Jamaica's 4,244 square miles. So that's like, so he's country, that's a proper country. So he could just go to his dad's house or something. But I don't know, but that's what made me think, like, are you going to the same place in Jamaica? Yes, he's coming, he's jumping on my flight. That's us on my flight. Yeah, that, that's us with the family. So we're getting off the plane together. We're going to get in on the coach, wherever it is in Jamaica, and we're going to go to the villa. I don't even know if there's a room for Dazza there. But Dazza don't care. She's going to be on the couch. Yeah, that's. Would that's Hamza a, do that? Nah. Would you do that? Nah. T, would you do that? No, definitely not. Hamza's <laughs> Hamza in Saudi Arabia right now. Is he? Yeah, he went Mecca. They bowled, oh, yeah, he went Mecca. They bolded up his head. I messaged him actually. Yes. Harry's one, the bold head. Oh my lord! Is that a religious thing? I never knew. I'm yeah, that's what they do. So it's part of like the whole. I don't know what to. I don't want to say the wrong word, but it's part of the whole. I'm just gonna call it procedure. So when you go there, you, when you go there, I think when you get to Turkey, you gotta like wear some sort of like, like it's like a towel. It looks a bit like a towel, two piece, and then nothing kinda. Your things just, and then you go. And then you gotta bold your hair, you gotta drink the Zam Zam water, and then you gotta touch the one of the pillars, I think, and then mission completed. Yeah, because yeah. Cause he won this he's coming on the rules, but he said he needs to do this first. Mm. But we we didn't even speak about box part the other day. Specs has got bad record, you know. What happened? Two and all, bro. Is he it? brought me to two parties and got KO'd at both of them. Oh and two. Oh and you two. You know I, I left it. A man a man's <laughs> brought me to a party, he can't even get me in. Again, a Shoreditch Box Park. Sh- sh- Imagine it's Shoreditch. I mean, not Shoreditch Box Park. I said Shoreditch, Croydon Box Park. He couldn't get me in Croydon Box Park. So let me tell you the, the story. The guy's walking up and down. He's there doing this. People, he's walking up and down for people to say, "Oh, that's Specs." But no <laughs> one's, no, no one's clocking him. Everyone's seen past him. He's there doing this. Rah! Then he's doing what's this gag now? And then he <laughs> FaceTime his daughter, and he's doing this so everyone can see that he's on the phone to his daughter. <laughs> And then I heard one girl now say, "What is that Specs? Yeah, Specs Gonzalez, you're looking for Specs Gonzalez. <laughs> now everyone's kind of clocked now. I'm saying, oh man, 
And then now, like, the girls, but obviously, they're, yeah. you know my thing already, I'm walking. Be get humble, say, oh my God, be get humble. Oh, so, right, your thing. Yeah. And then sex is mad now, because they say, be get humble. Oh, my Donnie. What do they say, Donnie? Like, they don't say that to Donnie. You know they don't say that. Like, Stuart Little is here. I said, we're not filming Stuart Little. Oh. Sex is there walking around. Then even the, jo- the, the your friends that you was with, mm. trying, to, trying to chat to me. Yeah, I bought, I bought my mates for you. Yeah, one of them's one of them's rating me. I don't know which one. But the, <laughs> the biggest, <laughs> let me see. When you got with me, yeah. I get you in. I give you three drinks. You think I didn't get? Yeah. No, I didn't get any of it. Any of that. And I give you mummies, and I leave you. I didn't get any of that. I give it to him and I left. Did no. you? Did you get him in? No. Yeah. No, you didn't. Don't lie. Should, should I make the call now? Make the call now. You didn't get me in. You usually didn't get me in. I didn't get in. I didn't get in on that. Huh? I didn't get in on that. I, I, I get in on flexing man's power, bro. I was like, bruv, so imagine I'm at the back door now. My man's let someone in on the back door. It was me. He's not you. Did, who went uh, in first? You went into the back door first. All right, when I went, okay, wait, wait, wait. When I went in first. Yeah, you said, that- go, you said, go, you said, um, go, you said, let me go in. I like, come to the front. I'm going to get you lot into the front. Oh. Then he's called back. Hey, I can't lie. This is long, man. This is long, man. I can't even, <laughs> you get a pattern. So I've gone to the back now and I've seen, I'm waiting for Specs. I said, I'll you after, don't worry. Because I, I already know what's, what he's done. Then, wrong. couple men have gone in, a couple, couple people have gone in through the back. But my man saying, I'm saying to my man, get Eugene so a man can maneuver. Remember what the guy said to me? I know who you are, you're famous. The bouncer. I, I didn't hear that, I wasn't there. I had headphones in at the time. Mm. So my man now, he's gone and let other people in that are not with us. He's let like four of them in, they've come with a DJ. But he's telling me this is not an entrance. And I'm saying to him, bro, like, I can't lie to you. You're getting me. I'm, I'm mad now. Like, it's, it's, it's come to a point where, like, bro, it's not a chatting thing because you're telling me people can't get through this door, but you're letting people through this door. Who are these people, bro? I don't even know these people, bro. And you're, and you're not going to put manners on my name. And I've been so respectful. I'm going to give it a bad day. Now, all the delivery drivers that are there, I'm telling them, cancel your orders, go yeah. back. It's really you like some, not, he likes you, to make a scene. You yeah. are not getting in. Now, there's box work delivery is not working. <laughs> he loves to make a scene. Yeah. So now, <laughs> my man said to me, you know what, me, me, me need to let you go. We, we, we can't work like this. We can't work like this. <laughs> it even, that was me. Let us in. And then the, your, your, your friends that were in there, mm. I gave Mummies, them the, by the way. I, I gave them the click. Hey, let's roll. <laughs> and then, hey, I've done it. I said, like, let's roll. And then from there, that's when she was trying you know to get said? touch tight. You know what they said? Resistant, though. You know what they said? You what? know when they saw you like, live, they're like, oh, you know what? He's actually all right. Which means before that, they thought you were dead. Yeah. That's why I love them. Fair enough. So in, in real life, you look better. Yeah. So I told you that. I told and you they were rated, which one was rating me though? Because I, d- I don't even understand. Both of them. But so I, I, I got, I got. I, I, you, so I'll make the call now. Yeah, make the call now. You do the rating now. Make the, you make the, the cool now. now. Make you the do the rating now. Rate the call now. Because I want to know which one was rating me. Because they messaged my boy like, oh, right, like, I want PK. She's like, I don't, I don't, I, she didn't, she's like, oh, I don't even want to party. I just want PK. That's what she messaged. Say which one wanted, which one of you wanted PK? Why do these girls work, man? Why are they not job center plus? You see? Oh, me? hello. Hello. My G, you're live on. You're live on. You're live on the rules, yeah. Oh my God! Hi, you're right. All right. Quick, quick. I'm in the gym as well. Yeah, don't worry about the gym. <laughs> Which one of you wanted PK? Don't say the name. Um, was it you or the other person? It was the other person. Okay. All right. That's I'm just checking. He, because we're on the rules. He's saying, yeah, someone wanted who? But we're gonna we're gonna gather it now. It's not me, sorry. Yes! Thank you, you got good taste. I love you, man. Take care. Love ya. Bye. Take care, bye. Which, yes. which, which one was that one? Which, <laughs> yeah. which, which complexion? Complexion? Yeah. Mixed face. That one was mixed face? No, this is... Um, the other complexion? Yeah. Okay. So, so, okay. So, what are going to do now? You know what it is? That's, that's the story of my life, okay, bro. Okay, okay, what's I'm this? GQ okay, what's top this? 100. <laughs> I told you, bro. Right, what's this? Now it's your turn to do what I've done for you. For me! Hey, brother, I can't do that. I can't, I got to phone the Bugs Life people or something. I, 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 I ain't got mummies that rate you. I, 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 I got to phone someone's mum. Which one? Hey, let me phone Abs's mum. Abs's mum. I don't want Abs's mum. <laughs> That's not my cup of coffee. There's a lot of, there's a lot of people out here looking for mums, though. Mm. That's not. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what we didn't get in, though, wasn't it? Why? Because obviously it was, it was me and you in it to go in. Yeah. But you came with one brother with orange t-shirt that was t- too small. 
<laughs> Derek Chisora. <laughs> yeah, Derek Chisora. Yeah. So, and then everyone else had towels over their head. Who? Donny? What is this towel thing? I don't know, but you we know... We can't get in like this. But no, that's not the reason. See, we're trying to get in place and everyone's got their towels over here like It was raining. York. How many it people did you have over here? He came with ten, ten people. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't lying. Yeah. I, I came with ten people. I came with that's me. Up? I came with what? <laughs> that's that's with you, bro. I didn't come with that. I came with the mommy. <laughs> hey, my man. Hey, my man. <laughs> Look at him. You got me. You got me. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> I was thinking, what? Pardon me? <laughs> I said, Dazza, Dazza there, Specs and Leo, Dazza, let's roll. I said, Dazza done a little, you know the little jog as well? Oh. He was like, oh, and he went the wrong way. No, this way. Oh. Hey, Dazza's a character. We had, a, we had a stinker though. Eugene comes out, he goes, boys, Spec speaking, follow me. So we're walking past T, a thousand people walking. Everyone's like, yeah, they're getting through the back. He takes us to the back of the line. <laughs> bro, he took us to the back of the queue. I was like to him, bro. I said, bro, I'm cutting out, man. You know, you, you know Specs is thing already. I said, ah, man, what's going on, though? But why? You know me, I'm not on that, bro. I'm saying, bro, f this, man. I'm you did not pattern it beforehand. I did. He did, but you know what? Is he's, he's mess it's not even Specs' fault. I'll, I'll, I'll allow Specs it's my this bad. time. Yeah. It's his bad but because he's obviously... <laughs> <laughs> He's apparently the guest list because the security will show me. Apparently, the guest list had 500 people in Box Park, Croydon. Like, that's, guess, that's capacity. That's yeah, like, but that, that place it was rammed though. Like, it was rammed. The, the, yeah, I think it's 500 capacity. What the whole venue? Oh, no, when it's no. seated, seated, seated. Yeah, no, nah, there was no seats, but it was five. Like, it was mad though. The party was crazy. Like, I've never seen anything like it. It was good. It was a good <laughs> party, but like, he just didn't have it packed. Okay, well, it. But T, we're going to the back of the, you know me. We're going to the back of the line. I'm thinking, oh my God, okay, we're not going to line up. So we're going Nando's, isn't it? PK is not having it. T, what's the habit? You, like, bro, what's, what is this? You, and I hear him. It's why you don't you <laughs> don't take PK places unless it's packed. PK. It's really not worth it. I'm PG. He, this, is a guy that, this is a guy that nearly, nearly, nearly lost it at Harry's birthday party. Yeah. When it didn't look right. Yeah. <laughs> if it doesn't look right, nah. it's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with, I'm with you though. That's what, honestly, that's why I don't go to most places. Like if I, if there's a chance that people can see me not get in on, see me yeah, in like a delay in the queue, like, like what? No. That's embarrassing. No. Like I have some manners, man. Well, I got, I got an apology from, from the whole of um, Box Park anyway. Well, they need Same. to, they, they need to throw another party like that and, and put us front stage. Uh, who else was it's there? It's a big party. Stormzy, a big party. Stormzy was there. Stormzy was there, he was there, he, he asked me where Miles was. <laughs> and I said, he's still <laughs> running away from you. That was a busy, busy, busy weekend, man. It's going to be a long summer for you then, isn't it? Uh, I, I, th I think summer's going to be crazy. But you got, you got invited, I invited you, so you got invite me, innit? He's invited you places though. He hasn't. I do. I bring you guys. He went to go watch a French artist. Didn't I didn't him. even have that pattern though. That, that's got, why. I don't, I don't need a pattern. I walk in. Just invite me. I walk. I get it myself. Yeah. You see, you're on that scatty thing. What I'm on. You, you got no decorum, no nah, class. I go to, but I go to the door and I get in. I always morning always. breath as well. You go in there with morning breath. That's <laughs> how you get in. Six p.m. <laughs> Six p.m. Morning breath. I get in. That's how it gets in places. The steams up the window. I'll be, I make Daza drive me there. I get in. And when I'm in, I'm looking. Daza. No rules Monday, yeah? You didn't get in. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do it, boy. <laughs> now I'll get in. But yeah, this summer's gonna be hard, man. When I get back from Jamaica anyway. Yeah. T, what did you bring us from? See, this nothing as well. Me and PK, your guys. What, have you, what did you bring us from, from New York? Stories. What stories? What, you got? what stories? What story did what you bring us to? Story? Nah, I don't really have that many stories to be honest. Yeah, one story. You know, when I went there, there was people that were crazy. No, I went, um, <laughs> I went to. <laughs> I went to NY, New York City FC versus Atlanta United FC at Yankee Stadium. Tell me one player that was there too that I would remember. Carlos Vela. Brad Guzan. That's a keeper. For, not Liverpool. Villa. Villa. Villa, yeah. yes. You don't know ball, you see? How did I know that? Brad Manfick, I don't know football, I know. played ball though, so you must have played with him. Brad Guzan, I didn't play with him. <laughs> play with Brad Guzan. <laughs> if he's still playing, you play with him. Who else? Was it, was, was that the was tempo, it really. Was the tempo of the game? The you know what? I'll say this, yeah. They try and play the right way. They play out from the back. It's very like pass heavy. Um, and they're not technically awful, but it's slow. 
they're not all Amer- there's, there's not many Americans it's playing Mexican, MLS. It's Central Americans, Honduras, and Mexico, and so I, you you know they've got a little bit of like creativity and all that stuff. Yeah, but they don't. It's not good. It's not good. As the final balls are weak. Um, champ level? If you're, f- it's nice nah, below champ level. It's league below one. champ. It's. I don't know. League one teams are beating them. I reckon the good league one teams are beating. Kapiki played it. I was looking at the midfield. The midfielders are, are busy, so I'm I'm not gonna rub out the midfielders as much as I am the defenders. Well, rubbing the it forwards. out, you say that I can play them. No, I'm just d- no, I can play I, champ. I, no, I'm just no, saying can't. as a midfielder, could you play there? Yeah, but they, but they they did a lot more moving. So the, I would I would I was looking at it thinking would PK fit in this game, and you you wouldn't have the like the necessarily the mobility that a lot of these busy busy midfielders will have. So it's a load of running, a load of bouncing back mm. and forward, which isn't really your style. So could you play there? It's hard for me to say based on that game. That's a no. That's a it's no. fair though. You're, you're good, but you're not. You're not it. I'm champion. Peggy Kiki. Peggy Kiki. Is she fighting for real? Mm-hmm. Are we going? Who's we? <laughs> PK's yeah. going. PK, I ain't going. PK was there when it started. I ain't going. <laughs> I'm alright, thank you. Unless I'm fighting. If they got the bag for me, I will go and fight. Who pays you? No, I go and fight whoever needs me to fight. There's bags for you to fight though, somewhere. Probably. If it, there's a there's a certain number that I have to hit, if I'm not hitting that number, I ain't gonna fight. Would you fight critical tomorrow? Nah, that's, no? that's a suicide mission. That's <laughs> a sure. su- It'll be outdoor. Well, uh, that I always say open arena. <laughs> of course, like WrestleMania. Of course, you know, <laughs> the commentator is sitting on his ear. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, Jr? <laughs> I'm on the other side of Critical's head. <laughs> critical. Um, Don Julio 90s wants to know PK before joining Filthy what was your honest opinion of the show and the talent on it I thought all of that man was sh- man that's the reality of it I thought they were, sh- I thought they were, I thought they, were um, they were using Harry Panero's clout good that Harry Panero's gone to do his own thing found his own venture I'm happy for him still let Specs suck him dry but he probably sucked him dry one day. Dude, <laughs> it was, um, Harry, Harry never, yeah, you tried to use Harry, man. It's calm. Never, man. Harry came on the show. That's how Harry didn't need to boys the men. <laughs> That's how he don't bring you to boys the men. You're the next guest. Yeah, I know. I already spoke, yeah. Is it for real? I'm doing it tomorrow. No way. Yeah, first Tuesday. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I feel sorry for you, man. <laughs> Harry knows. Harry knows. Harry knows what? He knows what I think of it. Obviously, I knew Steve-O. I knew Specs. Obviously, Tigo. You knew Steve first, didn't it? Yeah, and then obviously, Tigo's my mum's ex. That's how I know him. I knew it too. You love old African I'm women. His dad. No, yeah, my mum's ex. I'm his dad. Yeah, my mum's ex. He likes African women. Of course he does. To be fair, you came on No Rules before I came Filthy. On Filthy, yeah. And we did that thing you, Specs, and AJ Shabil before you came on Filthy as well. Was that before that I came on Filthy, yeah? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, because I remember T- um, T- um, Poet was trying to bring me on Filthy, but Tigo was trying to block the move. He was moving like Fabio Mashapit. What's the Fabio? Fabrizio. Fabrizio, Fabrizio. Ramanala. He was trying to block my move. Mm. Then when I came on here, Tigo was giving me the double hand guac guac, talking about, yo, wonder kid. I'm saying, calm down, bro. <laughs> T, stop nodding your head, man. You're always in denial. Talk to my manager. He's like, bro, I want to be your manager. I'm saying, calm down, bro. This is, a, this is facts, by the way. Yeah. Telling him, calm down. He's saying, bro, you, you, I feel like you can take it to the next level. I'm saying, bro, just calm down, bro. Take a breath. This is downstairs. Yeah, I remember. Then he's like, bro, let me just sit on your lap. You're going to be a wonder kid in two years. Two, two years is here. Took one I'm not off. even a wonder kid. You took one shoe off. And T, you wanted to go to the toilet, but we was all there. And when you got up, you walked to the side. You was walking sideways. Nah, he, he, and when he got up, remember, his bum crack was showing. I said, oh, this guy's got a hairy bum. I couldn't even see the hole. I couldn't even see the crack. The but the hot, the hair was covering it. You know that's where his hole is, isn't it? Is it where the hair? At is? the top. Did you? Know, I always thought, why is there two toilet seats in the toilet in the office? But I remember one for each cheek. There was <laughs> <laughs> one for uh. each cheek. T, we saw it all, man. What did you think of Phil <laughs> before you came on? Did it? Because you're not. How really, do you, you're not really, how you're do you not, not talk about football for so yeah, long? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, 
Because my thing is football, but then it's not all. It's not always football. But I think before it was more football than it was now. There was a period where it was heavy football. Do you remember when yeah. you first came on and we cussed the whole? There was a few weeks where we were just yeah, cussing, we were just cussing, cussing. That was my way. That was my way in. I love the best episodes. Just cussing. Don't They're talk still about the football. best episodes. Let's be honest. And then well, natural as well. They're natural as well. Yeah, like it just like, it it comes just, out of blue. Like we might have a topic to speak about, but everyone's just on that custom vibe yeah, and it just yeah, yeah. stays there and yeah. we just go and finish it off. But I think that's more summer vibes, you know. Yes, yeah, the end of the season. Yeah. yeah summer yeah. vibes. Yeah, yeah. And then they will go box park straight after, but you don't come because now he we, does come. Now we know why he wasn't coming though. He was he's having a baby. Mm. Nah, I just think it's the baitest thing in the world to do is to be big on YouTube there's nothing and else to do show team. up at Shoreditch Bots Park. There's nothing no, else to do. At that time, there's, it's not mad like that though. It's not like on, on a Saturday. No, we can't go box Bot Shoreditch on a Saturday. But we can go Croydon. Nah, we can go, we can go, to be fair, I can go anywhere. Like, man don't, man don't no, really, you can't. man don't really give me that, like, they don't give me the stick that you get, like, yo, Miles is a dick, this guy's a prick. That's because, people you're walking, don't, because you're walking people with towels over their head. People figure they're gunmen or something, bro. Yeah, that's how you gotta move sometimes. Security. That's what I can't do. I that, got man. close protection. Imagine critical walking with a towel reason. Flip it out. It's the same towel that cover a building, boy. <laughs> a car. What towels cover buildings? <laughs> when you know they should make that. You know, you know when you can't, make that you know when they reveal cars. <laughs> okay. And he thinks that's oh, what yeah. they're for the shard. <laughs> they some towel material. You know when you go and buy a Lamborghini? <laughs> Towel material, no. Is it? Can about when you go and buy a Lamborghini. Can one person You've never it? been and bought a Lamborghini. Can one person pull it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. That's not, I don't want it over critical. I want something hard over critical. Like, you know what they metal. do? No, they, they're plastering board. Plastering board, what is that? Like, No, that's what's behind the wall sometimes. Not this wall, I think this is brick. This is brick. Plaster board. I know what you're talking about. I remember I covered it. One time I was working on a job, I was a laborer. Oh my Lord. One of the worst jobs in history. Not worst, but it's one of the most what is it? physically what is, demanding. What is it? What is it it's, on a, it's very on a construction site. And you're basically like, you can be doing anything, can it? This one here, I was picking up plaster boards, but these plaster boards were heavy. <laughs> and then I was going upstairs, yeah? And then you know when you got the plaster board, you got to like twist with the, the plaster board on the stairs. Bro, I've done some jobs before in my life. I done one when I was doing maintenance. I was working in Premier Inn and I'll go there if, if there's a like, light bulb or something broken, you go fix the light bulb, you go That's knock. Super Mario. You knock the door. That's <laughs> <laughs> me. He's seen it. <laughs> you knock the door. Maintenance. He said maintenance, but we had some Asian guy that used to do it. So you knock the door and we like, maintenance. As a, so we used to always knock the door and say, maintenance. Go in there, fix whatever you need to fix. Did you know Federico Gatti, who uh, scored for Juventus the other day, was a bricklayer, window manufacturer, roof repairer, everything brick when layer, he was 17. Yeah. I've done a bit of bricklaying as well in college, but it makes your hands rough, so I stopped. It makes your hands very rough, because all of that cement. Yeah, dries on. It dries on and your hands are just rough. That is bad. What other jobs have I done? I worked at Chelsea when I was a kid. Chelsea Football Club. What, Bull Boy? 16, uh, 16, no, in the hospitality. Do I was more. working in the kiosk. Oh, but right. We to, but we used to put the money in the burgers. What? <laughs> That's what we used to do. Put money in burger? The food? Burger food. Cash So let's say coins. now, cash. So let's say now you order four pints. I think pints were like five, uh, five or no, like a tenner, five yeah, or a tenner. Yeah, more closer to a tenner, yeah. Like, but if you give me the exact money, I don't need to put it in the till. Because yeah. obviously that was the agreement that I had with so the hospitality the team. The burger was just there waiting the no, whole time. The burger is when I'm leaving. So I put my money in the burger. So when I'm leaving, because you get searched when you're leaving. So I put the money, but they don't search That's your gross. food. But you they put the money in your food. burgers. <laughs> <laughs> Something <laughs> tells that. me you just messed up a lot of hustles at Chelsea nah, you, They Club. don't do that. I think it's cashless now. Most, most clubs most are cashless, cashless now, yeah. so you can't even. But we used to, bruv, you we was basically making more than trappers. So now you're gonna see people now who go to them drum base race with drugs. They're gonna put drugs in their little hot dogs and go in there. That's a good idea, man. Can you get into a rave no. with a hot dog? But T, <laughs> T, what raves are you tea. going to now? Okay, so imagine you're going to drum base rave. You want to take your drugs in. Yeah. And you watch this show right now. Yeah. You're now the next drum base rave. You're gonna go in there with a hot dog or a burger. Yeah, it's such, mate. But you got the drugs inside the, the, the food. It's a good idea. I, I get what you mean. These are good tricks. What, other jo what jobs have you had? Oh, me, 
Post- you look like you was a postman. I was. Was you, you actually? I was. Nah, I didn't know that. Was I you? didn't what? know that. Were you was a postman? What? I don't think you're I've lying. ever heard you're you talk about being lying. a postman. You're lying. What? Well, you're gonna hit it. No, 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 Nah, nah. We're just trying to hear a story. I'm, 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 let me not call. Let me call KY. Oh, I always call yeah. it Daz, isn't yeah. it? He's calling KY. Next, he's gonna go call it. What's it? Critical? What's it? No, not Impact. critical. Impact. Yeah. Critical impact. Because it, it's too easy. Oh, KY's working, man. Oh, let me call Tris. I, I had done. I literally had an apprenticeship as well for investment banking. Did you? Yeah, I worked for GP Morgan. You never, you never ever worked for GP Morgan. That's where that's where impact worked. You could you can never have worked there. I worked you don't there. have that 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 talk, the investment talk. Yo, bro. Hey T. Yo. Do you remember me working as um at where am I as a postman? Joker. Do you remember? A postman. Back in the day. No. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Well. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> That's Andy Cole's cousin. He's uh, Andy Cole's family are um, data balls, man. Uh, Andy Cole's family are a mess, bro. Magnet top bins, what do you say? Rasted. I'm gonna rasp it top bins. Uh, we didn't even doubt that you were a postman. I doubt it. And I now, now you. you've lost it. I was, but this guy just, he just as usual, messes me things up. I called him last week. We had Andy Cole. Who? Mark Spencer. Mark Spencer. William Hill. Yeah. Uh, Computer Fair. That's what I know about Toshiba's. <laughs> Computer fair. <thing>. Yeah. <laughs> Open at 10 a.m., close 12 noon. <laughs> you, gotta be f- you gotta buy that RAM quickly. <laughs> you gotta buy them cameras quickly. Boy. If you're taking your laptop to get repaired, you gotta come back 9, nine 10 o'clock next week to get it. If not, two hours, boy. Um, and what else? And then, yeah, P teaching. And then, and then this, this, this rubbish. What is, what is our job title, by the way, T? What is our job title? You filled in a form, right? Mm, yeah, but what? I just write anything. Are we, what are we, it, media consultant? Yeah, sure, that's you. You're the, you consult on media, that's yeah? you. Yeah? Yeah. I, I write, I write, um, what's it called again? Marketing, I mean marketing. Yeah, that's a decent shout as well, yeah, because there's, there's no, uh, marketing is so broad, it yeah. can mean anything. Oh, you say marketing to mummies? Yeah, I do marketing. I hate when they see influencer. Yeah, that's a that, horrible that, word. Yeah. Bad that. B, that's a bad B word. <laughs> Baddy, Baddy Club. Uh, this next question comes from uh, Shades, you know, mayor of Luton. Yeah. Luton, in it. He goes a uh, golf R, does 62.2 miles per hour and 2.2 seconds in it. <laughs> in it. <laughs> what was PK's grade in English? I got a B in English literature. But, and what did you get in English language? I don't remember. See, that's, that's how you know. How, why does he remember the B, the, but doesn't remember the EFG? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you're, you, you're, you're very good at English, though. What? I think, I think his, his manipulation of English comes from an ability to be good at English. You have to, bro. You do not, you do not know English. English is not your first language at home. It is. And Hamza was questioning. He's like, to me, how do you speak How's English your first language? And I spoke to your mum, and her English is a bit shaky. But I'm like, she she can understand. She just can't, she can't put the sentences together properly. But Hamza's English is a bit shaky. His English is so he no he uses words in like he will be saying how are you, but he'll be like how are you deception. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. He he uses words in the wrong way. Like just because you know a word, it doesn't mean like he kept calling me Habibi. And now, but you know, you, 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 why is he calling Habibi before? I don't so you know. Him I don't know, bro. He can't speak Arabic. I don't think you know. Nah, he can. He can't. You can take a lot like when we're in places, take a lot Yeah, but the accent's wrong. Take a lot His accent's strong, though, when he speaks Arabic. Who, Hamza? Yeah. When it's not a soft, it's not a soft Arabic. He says he speaks all day. He always puts Arabic words on, after his English. No, I've sat, I was speaking speak to his family uh, the other day. He was speaking to Hamza's family? No, he was speaking to his family. Okay, and yeah. he was with us, with me and Jordi. And um, yeah, he just is a very, it's not like a, a lot of time you hear Arabic and it's, Softest, waviest. His, his is direct. His is Sadio Mane. Long ball. When I first saw him, I thought, wow, man, man that face is finished. But <laughs> he's got that. It, it, it grows onto you. He's got better. The bald head is a look, though, for him. Oh, mate. He's mega mind. He's mega, he's mega mind right now. <laughs> him and Critical, boy. boy. It's crazy. He's not. He's, I mean, nah. Critical bald. I don't know how that's going to work. 
I forgot my other jobs as well. I play. I worked at Colchester. You played there as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Worked there. Worked you foot. Worked? I was playing football. That's the whole job, oh. isn't it? That's and true. Then obviously, I I was working. I obviously I had a record label. Never been records. Never been records. Had um. Who did I have under my roster? Who did you manage? Abracadabra. Um. Won the Mobiles. GRM. Um. You won the GRM. We won the GRM award. Yeah. Oh, okay. Best song. On the one, I think. Oh, Bumba Clout, yeah, idiot, that one. Yeah, that Bumba Clout. That one, that one, that tune done because I thought he was Jamaican the whole time. <laughs> he done the, he done the, he done the rev reverse pass. That's how I call it. Man thinks he's Jamaican, but he's not Jamaican. Bear man think they're Jamaican. I thought you said, yeah, who, who's the other one that thinks they're Jamaican? Uh, Young Tef. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ballon d'Or. <laughs> Ballon d'Or fake Jamaicans. I'm Jacongo. You, you, you Jacongo? Jacongo. Jamaican Congo. Uh, Jamaica. Yeah, we're tight, we're Codies. Young Tev is Jin Nigeria. Jin Nigeria. I'm not getting into that one. Najaka. Na Jamaica. Na uh, we can't find one. No, nah, I'm not gonna eat because you don't wanna yeah, it's dangerous. You can't see you can't see a Jamaican but stink a fish. <laughs> I know where you're from. <laughs> your smell tells me where you're from. I said, you, you think, say you're Jamaican you think Greg can tell me he's Spanish? <laughs> Greg, I don't know what you smell like. You're Northern Irish. <laughs> you, I know. <laughs> I, your smell, your, you've got, everyone's got a country smell. Everyone has a country smell. <laughs> you can't yeah. say you're Jamaican and stick a fish. <laughs> Somali's got the Salam Aleikum smell. Yeah, everyone's, every country's got that smell. That is true. What's Congo's one? You lot say you know rice, innit? You know what Congo's one is. Well, rice. No, nah, man. Well. Under the armpits, <laughs> bats. It's very dark in there. <laughs> yeah, hailstones. <laughs> that's, you're, you're talking about. You're talking about like that's like one area in Congo. Okay, well, Where, nah, I don't know. Just, Where, where's okay. Judy from? <laughs> where where he's from? He's that's from where the bats area. where the bats live in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Judy is a bat. Upside down. Imagine Judy upside down. He is His a bat. Will still be on the floor. <laughs> about it <and> back. <laughs> Oh, That's bad, not yeah. the wings, it's his bum. Yeah. <laughs> Boys, you know what we're going to do now? We're going to help Rikishi. Peaky, PK, PK. I said Peaky. 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 Since the last time you came, PK, uh, we've added an element to the show, which is that we try and help Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister. The one that, you looked, I remember that on Donny's episode. Yeah. That's just before I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you getting onto Donny, man? I'm getting onto both of all three of you lot. You lot put you lot put in a show. That was that was, you lot you lot you lot were playing like it was John Patterson Cup or something. <laughs> Played the under 18s. We, we were hanging. We were hanging. <laughs> hanging um, what? But we're we we're, we're trying to add some policies to his tenure. He's got an election coming next year. Yeah, he's probably going to lose. Hopefully, um, definitely for the nation. But but let's just say he's got one year to to put some stuff in that might make him popular enough and and save this country. Yeah. We're going to suggest some policies to him. Okay. Have you got anything that you think you need to see changed that you could change? I feel like sex extra should be played in schools from. Well, that was a big controversial one last week, wasn't it? With that sex education thing where yeah. they were showing naked bodies to kids. Yeah, not kids. I don't think they should go kids. I think college. Coll college, et cetera, as a syllabus yeah, in college. in college. Why would that be good for the country? Um, Because a lot of people are getting underage pregnancies. The what, college is overage. Oh yeah, they've already done it, innit? Yeah. But they know that the curriculum is coming, so they're waiting to do the sex when the curriculum comes. Mm. They're gonna wait. Sex so, Etra was a good show, man. And what I like about it, the, 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 the guy that's on the mic stands in the way of the action. So you can see people beating, but you can't really see. You might see the like Tigo's bum cheek come yeah. in, but it goes. Yeah, you know I mean, so it's not really live sex. So it's, it's, it's actually a good thing. T, why are you acting like you? T, you always act like you don't watch Sex Etc. or you haven't watched it. I've before. got no. Me I know the name Sex Etc. I have no memory of Sex Etc. Laid bare. Yeah, like again, I, I remember that they. You're Lulu. A I remember because it was all colourful. You had a poster of Lulu. No, I don't have T, a of Lulu. You had a post of Lulu. If I call your brother right now, he'll say, Yep, T used to collect cards of Lulu. You haven't got my brother's number. And <laughs> so give no, it to me. No, that, that exactly. Ne never happened. Well, you're in denial. Never happened. Happen. Happen. It's not my story. 
So who do you fantasize? What who did you fantasize back in the day, T? Um Oh my god. Don't say Kanu. <laughs> <laughs> Kanu's not someone you look at and hold your swung. Can I say something about Kanu, by the way, that I've I've actually forgot to bring up and I've been f- annoyed with myself. I saw him in the airport when I went to Barbados in December. I'm fuming. What did he say? Because uh, because his kids were there waiting. Yeah. And then um, he comes out the toilet. I'm going in the toilet, and I'm like, "Oh my god, that's Carnu." And I thought I could explain to him the whole thing, get a picture, and it would bang. But but it's what boxing. It was Boxing Day. The whole. Is, are you, are whole you hearing story. what he's saying? I'll explain to him the whole thing that I had posters of you back in the day, holding my swung, looking at your high top and your fade. It was Boxing Day and he was with his family. I just thought it's unnecessary and it was a crowded airport. So I can't have been the only person that recognized him. So I thought I was just leaving to it. But yeah, I had the chance. And then I found out, I think one of his sons watches Filthy. What makes you say that? I can't remember. I saw, I think I might have seen it in the Listen, following list. If you're Kanu's son and you're watching, let us know. Please. He doesn't watch, he said filthy, not no it's, rules. It's the same thing, man. Hey, he has to watch no rules. It's, if he watches filthy and not watch no rules, then boy, he must be a new, 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 new fan. Yeah, exactly. He must be a new one, must be young. But uh, who did I fantasize about back in the day? T. Mostly just like pop stars. Like mm-hmm. Sugar Babes. Give me one T. There, there should be one that everyone stored. I loved uh, Keisha from the Sugar Babes. But that's a bit, yeah. Okay, Keisha. Keisha. She's the, okay. the, la- the brown skin one. Yeah, the black yeah. girl. Yeah. Black girl, yeah. 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 Still love her, by the way. Is it, yeah? yeah. Even though you're in a relationship. Yeah, you've got your priorities all over it's the gas. Is. is what it is. Check your mirrors, man. They sell some at Halfords. <laughs> I'm gonna use that. Check your mirrors, they sell some at Halfords. Do they though? Yeah, Halfords yeah, got yeah, side yeah. mirrors. Of course, of course. If you if you if you mash mash up your side mirror, go Halfords. You would know him and Hams have mashed up a lot of cars. My, yeah, I, I it's touched true. my card literally yesterday as well again. Again, second time. Imagine there's a little rock on the floor and I'm turning and I can hear my car go Rang. I'm thinking, what's that? Like maybe I'm killing a fox or something, charge it to the game. I've come out, I was driving over a big stone, like a stone age stone. Wait, what in, not? Nah, it was, yeah, in London, but it was in a car park. Stone was in a car park. You know when you go to these expensive places, they put unnecessary- the Gravel and all Gravel. Yeah. It's, it's like a big stone, it went gravel, like a massive stone like this. Mm. Like a proper big stone. Like, you know the world's strongest man? You look like you could be on world's strongest man. Do you do? I'm very strong. Yeah. Like them, like them Polish guys. I'm very what strong. What was my man called that won it like eight times? He was Polish. I know what you're talking about. I don't know his name, but he's... He, he, there he's there was one guy, that was a black guy, Felix, and he was from Felix Stone. It's, it's, it's one of the worst sports ever. It's actually sick. No, it's not nah, sick. Nah, it's sick. No, it's, it's, sick. Sick. It's, sick. it's sick to watch. I used to watch it. I think it was on channel five. Marius Puduwaski. <laughs> Marius Pudzianowski. He won it. He he was rigged. He won it like eight years in a row or something like that. He's strong, man. He's only six foot one. He's only six foot one. He's small. 142 kg. That's close to me. He's nearly the same weight as me. Have you ever picked up a girl? Yeah. Like, like, L- during that sex. is a lie. Yeah, I picked, yeah, I picked like, up, girls picked up a girl during I pick sex. Up people. If I'm drunk, I pick people up. My yeah, sh- I, I, I heard, got strength. I heard. I pick people up. Do you remember in Filthy the other day when Pete, uh, Speck said that you capped? About what? <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's just capped, that you yeah. capped. I tried, to, I tried to talk with like Lippian now. <laughs> I'm, not, I, I'm a good you. <laughs> you can't say cap. <laughs> You're capped. I've, I've got sick to it now. You <laughs> you got a tea, you have to, you can't just stop. That sounded so Rass bad. Rass it, man. Them kind of slang. <laughs> Rass it. <laughs> Rass it. Rass it. Rass it. Rass it. Rass it. Rass it. The top bins. Specs, have you got anything for Rikishi? Um, sleepovers. What about sleepovers? My daughter and her friends decided to sleep, you know, at, at, you know, in the house the other day, innit? Yeah. And I thought to myself, oh, I've got somebody else's child in my house. Yeah. And they're not listening to me. Oh, oh, wow. They're doing their own, they're making my daughter break the rules in the house. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So when I'm saying no, and they say, don't listen to your dad. <laughs> Let's do it. And they're both doing it in front of me. <laughs> There's nothing man can do. <laughs> what were the rules? What are you saying? You're trying to ban social services? No, it's not, not even ban social services, but it's like banned sleepovers. Yeah. Because obviously I had to take them cinema. Yeah. To watch Super Mario. And um, they fell asleep. And you know cinema uh, is expensive right now, T. Cinema's very expensive. 26 pound each, two kids. 
<laughs> 26 grand for kids. 26 no pounds each. No, it's not for kids. Because you got paid for the. <laughs> still not that tea, you got paid for popcorn. Yeah, okay, okay. Got they the can't share. And all that stuff. Remember all social right. distancing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can't share. You got by the sweets and you got by the drink. And you got, don't forget, the lorry driver's with you as well. Yeah. On my lap. Yeah. Yeah? What's he after? So, T, he's just. Do you know what he's doing? Go on. We're watching Mario. Daddy, where's George? George is not in Mario, it's in Peppa Pig. Just watch it. Daddy, change it. But he's saying, he's, he's talking loud, you're not at home. I know our TV's big, but we're not at home. Yeah. I'm saying so change it's, it, you know? it's, a, it's a disaster. So now the film was finished. I've got these two fools, conked out. I've got this guy looking for George, I'm carrying him. I'm trying to wake these two up. So the idiot, yeah, said to the other <laughs> idiot, yeah. Yeah, when we sleep, if he wakes us up, Stay asleep. Oh my God. You know how these, these, yeah, these yeah, yeah. idiots are. Yeah. So now I'm in the cinema, the lights are on. I'm like, girls, up, up. So I'm, you know, obviously my daughter's getting up because I'm like, hey, I'm mm. being serious now. Mm. But I'm plus one now, I still <laughs> want to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> but there's nothing you can do. You have to, you got to allow yourself to get mugged off because it's a sleepover. So I'm saying Rikishi. Get rid of sleepovers. Sleepovers are pointless though. Did you ever have one? I up? didn't. I didn't really do. My mom didn't really let me do sleepovers. You know, she she was fun, funny about going people's houses, eating at people's houses. Like she didn't really, she didn't really flick at that. That wasn't really a thing. I bought them. They wanted burger. I bought them five guys. When burger? Da, da, da. I don't want five guys. School trips. I used to go school trips with a pound. I remember I went British Museum, bro. British Museum, the p the pencils are four pounds. I had I had one pound in my pocket for the whole trip. <laughs> my pack lunch, ham and cheese sandwich. You know what you have to do in it? Water. That's it. Ham and cheese sandwich and water. You have to just play money up, try and win the money up. Nah. Or what you do is you go in there. Oh. Oh. Straight. Straight. Why oh, I used to put in people's bags. <laughs> I used to put my things yeah, in people's bags. So but who's got my kind of Coke? PK. I ain't got no kind of coke. The coke is uh, it's poking. It's poking, poking out, out the, the window. Poking. Nah, this ain't coke. This is coke zero. <laughs> it's a Game Boy. No, it's not a Game Boy. It's coke. In school we were thieves. In school we was thieves though. And sleepovers, they don't sleep, see? Kids don't sleep. No, they don't because sleeping at other people's houses is difficult for the yeah. kid. So they and they also convince themselves that if they're together, they don't have to go to sleep. And going to sleep is for kids. You don't want to go to sleep. You want to stay awake. Which is do just all nighters. Kids are dumb. We used to do all nighters. You used to do that all nighters at your cousin's house. Yeah, like you just stay yeah. up for the whole night. See, I'm just like you, dumb. so dumb. I'm like you. I can sleep at my cousin's, but my if if Tigo, if I met Tigo at ten years old, and he's come to my house, and I said to my mother, I'm gonna go sleep at his house. They'll say yeah when he's there, <laughs> and then when he goes <laughs> straight, I know that one. Africans yeah. are the worst. Of course you can. Yeah. Of course. And then as soon as, soon as you, go, you're not going nowhere. You're not going nowhere. Well, that's good for Rikishi. He needs to ban sleepovers and um, maybe bring kids to the cinema and et cetera as part of the syllabus. Yeah. Laid bare. Well, now we're gonna remember wrestling. Dude, T, yeah. did you watch any wrestling when you was over there? I did. I watched SmackDown after Life. The, after yes, not not on the event. No, no. I was there was one that was upstate New York, but it was too far away. I wasn't going to go to that. But there's one coming to London, Wembley, in the summer. Are we going? It's the same time Geordie's doing some show with Leeds. I think I think it's, I think it's Leeds Festival or something. We're not going out. <gasps> what? Hmm. Oi, we've got to go to Leeds Festival. <laughs> Just hold your nose. <laughs> there's going to be Toshiba's there. But no, I, I watched I watched SmackDown when I was I watched it while it was live on TV. Who's it's the face of SmackDown? Uh, it's still the like Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, and Roman Reigns. That's who this girl fancies. What Roman Reigns? What girl? The mummy that we ran. Is it? She says she's, she says we takes about. She's obsessed with Roman Reigns. I think it's class. I've no, I've never heard a mummy tell me she loves a wrestler like this. Roman Reigns. Even the way his name is spelled is rubbish. R e i g, bro. Rubbish. But um, Jeff Hardy's back. Is it, yeah? Yeah. What happened to him? Where was he? He was in rehab. For what? Drugs or alcohol? 
maybe both, maybe just alcohol. I don't he think they've confirmed they that to, yet. They need to give him Paul Gascoigne's number. <laughs> <laughs> so him out. Maybe Paul Gascoigne will start playing football again as well. I don't think that's going to happen. I think he, it's possible. Do you reckon we should get Paul Gascoigne on Filthy? That, I, 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 I think I'd cry real tears. I have, no, I have no interest in Paul Gascoigne. Paul Gascoigne? Nah. That guy can drink 50 litres of alcohol, bro. <laughs> well, 50 and still be sober. With petrol as well. That guy's crazy, man. Have you been watching any wrestling? Uh, um, last couple of weeks, no, I haven't. I'll be honest, I have not watched any wrestling. I watched Omos. Wasn't happy. Obviously, I knew that he wasn't ready in the ring. <laughs> um, and then something just threw me off of wrestling. It was the... We were talking about Rey Mysterio. Yeah, and, and Dominic, yeah. His son is the ugliest thing <laughs> I've <laughs> ever seen. <laughs> He's but as PK, I need to see Ray Mysterio. Oh son. my god, that is not that's not his son, that's Kane's son. Kane was banging the Bayman bro. Yeah, he don't look real. Oh my god. That's Lord. Kane, he looks like Glenn Jacobs. It's either Kane, Mankind, or Paul Bear's son. It's pale as well. So yeah, T, I'm not I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not sticking wrestling. And when Jordy put that that clip the other day of that guy talking who used to be in the shield. <laughs> um, Dean Ambrose. Dylan, you never told me Dean Ambrose talks like that. <laughs> you know one. It's a bad character, man. <laughs> T, man, no, man. I can't. I've tried. Sorry, people. I've tried. Even Dazza tells me to watch it. I can't. I don't like it. What about when Helen Nassau comes to London? Who's that? Helen Nassau. You know, it sounds like Helen. Helen, Helen. Oh, yeah. yeah. I heard yeah. Helen. Yeah. Helen, yeah. Helen yeah. Nassau is money in the bank. Is that what they call Helen in the cell now? No, it's different. You know, he climbed the ladder to get the suitcase. Okay. Yeah. The they need to go back to when the belt was hanging at the top. They do that sometimes. Yeah, my, I'd money, tea, money in the bank. Never liked it. Why? <sighs> what do you do with the money? It's not money. It's that you cash it in to get a world title. Yeah, start. I don't know. I'd never grew up on that tea. I didn't like Elimination Chamber. I don't like Elimination Chamber. I hate Oh my God, where you're, where you're in the thing. In the glass, go, oh. yeah. And the glass is open. I hated that. I don't like that. I'm rubbish still. Royal Rumble or nothing, man. Yeah, that's true. But I did watch something that I found interesting. Triple H, basically. Um, you remember when Daniel Bryan was so, like having his yes, yes, and we said, is the yes, yes moment bigger than Stone Cold's what moment? Mm. And you, I think you said it is, wasn't it? I didn't wasn't say it? that, no. Nah. Was it you or Geordie? I can't remember. I was talking to someone anyway. But Daniel Bryan, for me, was meant to be what Roman Reigns is today, right? Yes, I guess. But Triple H and Vince were like, nah, they didn't want that, right? Yeah. And Mick Foley ended up tweeting saying, well, these lot are making a bad decision because Daniel, Fe Daniel Bryan is what the fans want. But Vincent had decided, nah, man. We're going against the fans. And we apparently, want John Cena. And, and it's been going for like, years. The fans have not been happy with Vince McMahon's decisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means I'm right to not watch wrestling because Vince has got it wrong the whole time. Well, it depends. Most wrestling fans don't know what they like, though. Oh, like they're like a filthy crowd. Yeah. One week they hate Tigo, next week they hate Specs. Is <laughs> that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but they they get they sit in the crowd and they're like, oh, PK should have said this. Specs should have said that. Mark should have done this. And it's like, hold oh, on, you, you you came to watch. Yeah, yeah. You can't Appreciate tell people it. what they should be doing. Appreciate That's it. That's what wrestling fans are like. Undeable. It should have been a spear. You know, I saw a comment. You know when Dezza came on the last filthy? Yeah. He said, yeah, Dezza's replacing PK, thank God. That's I said four words on Trophy. <laughs> the same guy didn't say nothing. He didn't even say my bad, you know. You see. So the crowd are just the crowd are all the same then. But the, that's where we got the name from. <laughs> We're gonna do no rules news now because Spectre's is on a deadline. This first news story comes from BBC News. Dog addicted to alcohol, a first for Devon Animal Trust. Well, Paul Gascoigne lives in Devon, yeah? Paul Gascoigne's got a dog that loves fruit stellas as well. <laughs> My God. Uh, Paul Gascoigne lives in Devon. Devonshire. Staff at an animal shelter in Devon have been caring for a dog they believe had become addicted to alcohol. Two dogs were initially taken to Welfare Trust in Plimpton after their owner passed away. Uh, soon after arriving at the shelter, the dogs showing signs of alcohol withdrawal, something Star said was a first for them. One of the dogs passed away, while the other required intensive care. So these, these dogs basically lost their, you know, the owner, 
and the next weekend, to drink. and they took the time to drink. And, and listen, that's what humans do. That is what humans you know. If Phil I lose, Mitchell does if it I lose somebody, <laughs> what Phil Mitchell? If he loses Grant, let's say on the standards, he, he will turn to alcohol. Right, he'll go to Peggy and say, Peggy, give me three pints. I get that. The dog named Coco. What? Has been he- heavily monitored Coco. with hourly checks. Uh, but he was good do- during it and he's very well behaved. Oh, the dogs want to join. The dogs are jumping. Oh, the dogs are trying to oh, hit the stairs sense. themselves. Yes. He's trying to meet up with the owner. Yes. They got a rendezvous, RSVP. See you at nine. Trying to get a plus two in it. <laughs> Try to get a table. <laughs> I feel like alcoholic dog, that's the kind of dog you would like, PK. Yeah, just, just some pure nonsense. There's people that give d- 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 alcohol to their dogs anyway for a laugh. Yeah. I'll, I'll never, Pablo, I'll never give Pablo not even a WKD. <laughs> not even T. Wicked. You thought about it, T? Never, no. I give my dog wicked and bad juice. <laughs> Is that wicked that's, and bad juice? That's WKD times a billion. Would you give your dog prime? No. It's not alcohol, though. It's just not for in, in a dog's diet. Oh, you're a caring guy. Yeah, but you can make anything in someone's diet. Look at, we drink milk, we drink Coke. Yeah, but animals have different digestive systems than human Our beings. Our digestive system is not built to digest cow's milk. No, but it's a lot stronger. Yeah, but that's true, though. And more capable to... That's one reason why you don't want to give your dog like all this stuff, because they'll just pop up the plates anyway. <laughs> you, don't, you, you, you don't want to fart. Like, imagine, <laughs> like, I don't know, like, Jaeger bomb fart. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that would make me want to have a Jaeger. You know me, T. But I smell Jaeger. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> the dog will get me drunk. <laughs> now the dog's trying to get... The dog's farting so you can... So you can... Yeah. So you can... What do, do you mean? Mean? Oh. What, yeah. do you, what do you mean? Some so, dogs are on that. They want to just do their owners. Yeah. You can do my leg. That's it. Speaking of which... This next story comes from WDAM7. That almost like WKD. 25K bonds set for Jones County woman charged with filming sex, sexual acts with animal. But T, are we still here with this? But, but, oh, but honestly, look at the T. Do you look at your dog and be like, Oof, look at that hole. Let me go over there. <laughs> why no. do people do this stuff, T, man? Well, this, go oh, on, PK. The dog can't even press charges. So why who's pressing the charges? That's why they do it. Who's pressing because the charges? Because the dog can't say no. That's why they do it. How did you know the dog's not saying yes? That's true. <laughs> I've never seen a dog say yes or no, you know? <laughs> I don't, a dog, they, they don't even do this, do they? They don't shit, no. They don't shake their heads. They don't. So maybe it's yes all the time for them. That's why. They, they, they That's why. Do. That's why dogs, you see dogs never have been in like, like, let's, like a dog can't be assaulted because a dog doesn't say no. It's always saying yes. When the other dog comes to hump it, it doesn't matter if it's a different breed well, the dogs don't like light skinned guys or dark skinned guys. Dogs are every guy. Dogs are hoes. They just they just want to take it from the back from everyone. Even the male dogs, they even say no, innit? They don't even say no. Uh, Denise Nicole Fraser, 19, of Laurel, made her first appearance Thursday afternoon in Jones County Justice Court, where her bond was set by Judge Grant Hedgepeth. Hedgepeth. She needs Annalise Keating. That's who she, she needs. She does. Who's or, that? Is that or, Judge Judy? No. <laughs> Oh, uh, judge! Oh, oh, pro- prosser! What's a prosser? Have you watched um, Scandal? No, not Scandal. That's what's her name? I can't remember her name. I'm talking about the guy from Power. Um, what's he called again? What, what, what do you lot know him as? The guy from Power, Method Man. All right. What do you guys know him as? That's what? bad. Yeah. You don't know Method Man? Oh yes. Yeah, I know school, of yeah. him, but I don't. That's not who I ref- what I refer to him as. According to the Sheriff's Department, it received a complaint from a concerned resident regarding a graphic video posted to a social media channel depicting the acts between a human and a a human female and a male dog. Damn. An investigation led to a search warrant for the Norton residence and an arrest warrant being issued for Fraser. The the sheriff said it was the judge even said, no, lead investigator. Lead investigator. No, it's, it's actually all the way over there. I tried try to skip it. Give him the finger. You can't read. Okay, give him the finger. Take it. Take the finger. Uh, you can lead, have it. Lead investigator Sergeant J.D. Carter said that the video was extremely disturbing and he can't wrap his head around it. I wouldn't understand the mindset that would even drive somebody to do that. A claim of being threatened and forced to conduct those videos, as she claimed, there's no evidence to be found supporting that idea. And yeah, we did look into it. So she said that she was forced to do it. 
That's you know everyone the first time they get arrested for something, that's always the excuse that they use. You know, an older forced me to do it, <laughs> but you make up the older, you make up a fake person. Truth or dare, innit? Yeah, it's truth or dare. I think species should stick with species. If that makes sense. Yeah, but we it are definitely species. makes sense. We are species in our mm, okay, no, in our right regard. Uh, so human beings stick with humans. Yeah. Bears, like, look, let's be frank. Yeah, but some people look like monkeys. No, but let's. You, you've got a female dog, right? If I bought in a panda bear, panda bear ain't gonna go on. Panda bears don't want to do that to anyone, unfortunately. All right, cool. What do you mean? Panda right. bears don't like sex? No. Okay. Why? That's why they go right. extinct. All right, see, a fox. A fox ain't gonna go and try and beat a, yeah. a, a girl dog. Yeah, they would. No, foxes, they, no yes, that's, they that's do. never happened. No, never. Foxes try and beat cats. Yeah, but cats but and that's foxes, not consensual. That's fine though, because they, you, lot, they part, you lot part night time, you go to the same club every night. No, <laughs> they don't they do. They don't know, because foxes, foxes go to like, foxes are going libs and that. No. Cats, cats stay in the Cats ends. are going libs. Cats are going Prince of Peckham. <laughs> yeah, but so, okay, okay, but if the foxes go libs. Yeah. After libs, if they don't get no one. On the way home, they On the way home, they'll go Peckham. The, on the way home, the cats are chilling and the foxes are cat calling the, fo- the cats. Okay, that's fine. You look out, like you're in the same area. That's cool. But I'm saying to you, if I now bought a flipping chimpanzee that was living in flipping Nairobi, and it sees Tigo's dog, it's going to go over there. Love is blind. No, but it's not blind. Love is blind. blind. I think foxes are not asking for consent from cats, though. That's the only problem I've got. Foxes are just using their power. Cats don't want to be with foxes. Cats want to be with pandas and chimpanzees. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, because because the thing about pandas and chimpanzees, they, they they'll pick up the fox off the ground, mm-hmm. and manhandle the fox, uh, the, the cats. The cats. Don't Have like you that never stuff. done that before? Picked up a girl off the ground and bow, bow, stone yeah, cold. How, Julia Batista. How long bomb. can we? Yeah, but yeah, but how long can you hold him up for? Batista how long can you hold him up for? How long? The Batista bomb. I can hold that for long because when I do the Batista bomb, I put you on the wall, so I'm not really holding you. It's a facade. I, I, you think I'm holding you? You know what you're promoting. You're it? just resting here. You know what you're promoting on my shoulders. You're, so you're okay. So then okay. If that if that's what we did, if we're all gonna mix and mix and clog, yeah. When when critical goes and does a horse and he picks up the horse, what yeah. that? It's, it'll rest <laughs> on his head. Bro, side on as well. The horse will lie. You know horse riding when they when they jump. <laughs> this one can't jump. It's just too high. So it's your business, bro. It's your business. Well, we've reached the end of our time today. It's fourteen fourteen. That means two fourteen. Um. Appreciate you coming through, PK Humble. I'm not happy what you said about. The, I'm not happy what you said about chimpanzees allowing to go and do cats now. <laughs> I'm not happy about that because that means human beings now are gonna go and do cows. And you know, you know, he's not happy because he's dressed like he works in a zoo. Yeah, Steve Irwin. He's on the Steve Irwin thing today. You, you wildlife. That is the zoo. Greens that green, beige. What's that? that what's that one when you drive through? Safari Park. Yeah, but there's one in Woodburn in Milton One in Keys. England. Milton Keynes, I went there, yeah. Woodburn. Longleat, you look like you work at Longleat. Is it? Yeah. I tried to dress up as Luigi today. Oh, right, that's fair. Eerie. Is that his sound? Luigi. Yippee. That's Luigi with missing that's teeth. That's not him. Oi, I just remembered something. Yoshi is not in Mario. There's a little bit. What? Yeah. You were sleeping. Why? I think because they're wanting for part two, isn't it? I just remembered, man. And where was Wario? <laughs> yeah, again, they're, they're saving them. They're saving them. There's obviously a lot of sequels planned. That browser. <laughs> browser wanted the whole situation, the whole movie. Bra- ba- browser just wanted this situation. <laughs> the song the song was banging, though, isn't it? I said browser. Huh? The song know? was banging. Oh, the song's class. I sent it to you on Instagram. Oh, one, one, one more thing. Just Avatar and um, Mario, if you're watching, you've got two characters in each film, or what, sorry, one, one character of each film that stink. The one, Spider and Avatar. Yeah. Don't want to see me Avatar 3. And the star. The blue me. one. The blue one was, when you Annoyed see this- Annoyed me. When you see this blue one. I want that star to go in the fire. The blue one is so sick. Sorry, it's so P- sick. PK, go watch it. The star's I'm gonna annoying. watch it now. You lot, you lot have gassed me. I'm gonna actually go watch it. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a moment to the cinema. Sorry boys, I have to go and get Every these. Every man cinema. These lorry drivers. I'll see you when I get back from Jamaica, man. No, Rusha, have a good time in Jamaica, Specs. Love.